Capricorn, welcome to your Just In Time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this Capricorn, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular viewer, welcome back, Cappy. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I am an intuitive tarot reader. Do feel free to drop me a comment and introduce yourself. I would love to meet you. Now, just to let you know, Capricorn, sometimes the whole reading is going to resonate like a powerful reading. It's going to feel super cool. It's not always the case. Sometimes it's just pieces, but they will be the pieces that you need occasionally nothing will resonate and that's okay too just leave it for someone else that it does now i've pulled the personal issue reaches resolution card here full moon in cancer you may be dealing with a cancer sun moon rising or venus you may have a important cancer placement in your birth chart but the cancer energy is deeply emotional deeply connected to heart and it feels like maybe there has been an issue that has caused you high emotions and you're being told here that that is going to come to completion and we have a sense of protection around you. So, hey, maybe that's what you needed to get from this reading. But let's keep going. So Capricorn, I'm using the Divine Initiation Oracle. I'll then work with the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot. I will link you to these decks down below as they are my latest faves. Okay, we have got self-reverence. Okay, this is a beautiful energy here. It really feels like, you know, it's time to do what is right for you and to hold yourself in, you know, pride and dignity here. So maybe the situation has somewhat shaken you a little bit internally or had a very deep you know personal impact but it is time here for you to let's say up your self-care to honor yourself for you know the hard work your approach so far so let's keep going i am going to work with the full tarot deck now and the first card out capricorn is the emperor wow okay so this is an energy of taking control stepping up taking the lead um it's an aries energy you might be again dealing with an aries person um the emperor is about foundations right it talks about firm foundations and i'm coming back to that personal issue and it feels like somewhat of a tower moment or something that did give you a shake up but the emperor is saying you know really step up and take control take the lead here it feels like there is a bold action that you can take that can really bring things back into balance okay so the emperor is much uh, an energy of you know the playing this like a game of chess being very strategic taking calculated risks here let's keep going and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I mean, the Knight of Swords talks about if you do that, we have a quantum leap forward. We have progress and we have things moving. I have to say that for some of you, it is possible that there might be a communication that comes from some kind of authority um, or, or leader or, you know, institution with the Emperor Energy can stand for that. That actually resolves the issue. And that could be something like you've got the house, you've got the finance, you've got the job. Um, you know, that's kind of emperor level themes. Yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. I'll pop it up right for reading. So whatever went down here, it definitely felt like a betrayal or a deception being taken from or hard done by. They are all Seven of Swords themes. But again, I'm coming back to this will reach resolution. It felt like it has a, an impact on you personally but it seems that that is going to come back into balance there might even be you know formal apologies that kind of thing and i've got my second number four and i noticed that self-reverence is number 31 which adds to four so four 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 is an angel number coming through here capricorn but the four of pentacles is about feeling stable again but also feeling protected all right so it feels like very soon you're going to have your feet back on the ground now there could have been an element here of a financial loss or fear of financial loss with the four of pentacles um you know that can be a theme maybe you have been sort of holding on but the ace of swords would indicate that there is a win there is a breakthrough and there is a victory coming now again with the Ace of Swords being the Ace that has come through, 
Capricorn, it usually talks about a communication that opens a new beginning. So what we could have had here with the Seven of Swords and the themes that I'm seeing is that, you know, there could have been like a, a bill or an account or maybe something breaking down at home. You might have, you know, had some people out to work on it. There could have been, uh, you know, being ripped off or something like that or feeling like you were going to get the job and all of a sudden it's been snatched out from underneath you. It's that kind of energy. But we've got breakthrough. So whatever action you've been thinking about taking here, make sure that you move forward because it could be the very thing that shifts the needle in your world here. Personal issue reaches resolution. And the Four of Swords. Okay, I will make that the last one because we keep getting Swords cards and we keep getting number four. Like, it's really repeated here. The Four of Swords links to the Ace of Swords, right? It talks about after a pause or a wait, getting that breakthrough, getting that clarity. But it usually comes after we were fearing the worst. We were fear, fearing loss, fearing, you know, something here that... Uh, might have been a severing of ties, like being let go, something like that. But the Ace of Swords would indicate recovery, would indicate breakthrough, and would indicate that you get clarity on the way forward very soon. So a personal itch, uh, issue reaches resolution. It feels like there's going to be a communication here, um, Capricorn, that brings you back to stability and brings you back to security. So I think that is a really blessed sign for you. So if you would like to follow this up with a personal reading, please do follow the first link down below. I'll also link you to my social media accounts, my TikTok and my Instagram. I'm very active and interactive on both of those. And I've also got a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards and two paid courses, my introductory course and my signature deep dive course. So I'll leave you to explore those links. For now, I am sending so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.